Hello, my name is David Wild. I'm a marriage counselor, a relationship and spiritual coach and psychotherapist. I'm here to help couples to resolve differences that seem to be very, very hard to break. Patterns and behavior that seem to be really, really tough. Have you ever noticed that the things that couples fight about or argue about or get stuck on just seem to continue over and over? Well, it's my position that they basically are not the real problem. The real problem is what's inside the onion and that the behaviors are like the skin of the onion. We as humans have reptilian brains and we still respond like animals in the jungle with the fight or flight response to what may be stress or fear or some feeling of lack of safety. And so the main kinds of things that couples experience in terms of behaviors and emotions are what I call secondary behaviors, secondary emotions. Um, and those are really what need to be penetrated, gone beneath, in order to help discover what's really going on. For illustration purposes, I have a chart here, a diagram that I'm going to set up. And I'm going to create a circle on here in order to illustrate I'm going to draw a circle which illustrates the primary emotions, we'll call, what we'll call the primary emotions inside the circle. We'll call what couples experience as the secondary behaviors on the outside of the circle. The main experience that the majority of couples experience in various forms is some degree of anger. Another experience that is very common is some degree of withdrawal, a pulling away, either physically pulling away or an emotional pulling away by one or both partners. That could be spending too much time at work, that could be doing other activities. It's anything that really prevents the partners from being connected. And the third thing that I'm going to look at as being a type of secondary behavior which is not only reflective necessarily of problems in the marriage or issues in the marriage, but maybe more interest psychically have to do with some of the challenges of the individual. And we'll call these addictions and compulsions. All of these types of behaviors and, ex and experiences, emotional experiences, are ways that couples manifest uh, problems. And they're all on a continuum from very, very light on one extreme to very uh, strong on the other extreme. So that for anger, for instance, you might say that there might be mild annoyance here on this side and perhaps rageful behavior on this side. The same could be said for light withdrawal or, or significant withdrawal from a relationship, whether it be by being stuck, one, cup, one person being stuck in front of the television or the internet. Um, and the same can be true for addictions. Eating is perfectly normal. Overeating can be, uh, it, it can be addictive. Uh, many behaviors that are very, very normal part of the human experience can be addictive when they're excessive and they create problems in relationships, and they also reflect problems in relationships. But what's going on inside the circle? I call what's going on inside the circle the thing that we really need to focus on and learn about as the primary emotions. And they're very simple when you think about them, but they're not as easy to connect with. And that's why they remain nameless for now. The ones that I've identified as being most critical to connecting with I'm going to put them in very, very broad terms. The first one is sadness, which reflects any degree of a sense of loss, loss of relationship, a feeling of separateness, a feeling of isolation. And again, on a continuum from maybe feeling mildly blue or melancholy on one extreme to being depressed or feeling very, very desolate, uh, very, very separated on the other extreme. The second emotional experience that is primary 
and that couples oftentimes are not connected with and that result in these secondary behaviors, I'm going to refer to as fear. And again, the fear can be anything from mild concern or worry to terror on the other extreme. So each of these is on a continuum, as is the anger, as are the addictions and the withdrawal. Fear is always about the future. It's always about some concern about what's going to happen in the future. The last set of emotions that I consider to be what I call primary emotions are related but not identical, and they are shame and guilt. Shame is about not feeling adequate, not feeling good enough, oftentimes in the eyes of the world or in the, in the eyes of others. Guilt's about feeling that one has done, thought, or said something that, is not, that does not jive with their values or has not said or done something that would be consistent with their values. And again, these are the sorts of things that couples oftentimes are not connecting with emotionally but are experiencing what I call, again, secondary behaviors on the perimeter of the circle. You can't solve the problems of an angry spouse by not, no, by not being able to look, unless you look within and underneath the, uh, the perimeter of the circle or begin to peel the onion and look at what's going on underneath. So we're dealing with different levels of sadness or sense of loss, different fears or concerns about the future, or different degrees of feeling unworthy, inadequate, or somehow guilty or uh, of having said, done, or thought things that are not appropriate. One of the main goals in couples counseling and in a healthy relationship is to be able to communicate what one is feeling. The problem is that one cannot communicate what one is not aware of. So that if you're not aware of feeling some level of inadequacy, or if you're not aware of feeling afraid, or sad that your partner is not loving you enough, that you're not getting enough love in the relationship, or a sense of guilt that your behavior is not okay, or that the spouse's behavior, you know, these are the kinds of things, if you're not aware of them, you can't communicate them. You can't communicate what you're not aware of. So the first step in being able to have healthy communication between two spouses or people in a, in a relationship, whether married or not, is to be able to go beneath the, the skin of the onion into what's really going on on an emotional level, which is not as easy as it sounds. It's, it's, it's easier to say it than it is to do it. But this is the big challenge and a big first and vital step in healthy communication between couples. My name is David Wild. My website is davidswild.com. And I thank you for your time and your attention.